From the first time we spoke, I knew that you were the one God had for me. So I prayed, and I made promises to him that if he would bless me with you as my wife, I'm going to make those same promises to you. I vow to always protect you and be your strength in the face of any adversity. I vow to always communicate with you, never leave you wondering or keep you in the dark. I'll always keep you in the loop. Eric, the day is here that we become husband and wife. You've taught me that two people joined together with respect, trust, and open communication can be far stronger and happier than each could ever be alone. You are my shelter when I need you. You are my strength I didn't know I needed. You are my voice of reason and my happiness I didn't know I lacked. You are my best friend and I know that you will be with me through everything, never letting me face it alone. I vow to cherish you and love you in 60 years from now, just like our first week of dating. I vow to always walk through the grocery store with my hand on your butt. And I vow to spend the rest of my life being grateful for you and never let our relationship become complacent. We will always keep it interesting. Eric, I promise to love you for who you are and for who you are yet to become. I promise to remember that all things are rooted in love and I promise to nurture you in your dreams and to help you reach them. I promise to share my whole heart with you and to show you unconditional love. I can't imagine a more perfect woman to be my brother's wife and the mother of his child. You're beautiful inside and out, and you tolerate my brother, and you appreciate my brother for everything that he is, and you really make him a better man. With everything you both have been through, I'm so happy that you are starting your journey as husband and wife, and I can't wait to welcome my niece into the world. Congratulations. I love you, Brooke, Eric, and baby Emmy. Brooke and I have been best friends since high school. We've laughed, we've cried, laughed until we cried, and we probably know way more about each other than we care to. We've been through some of the hardest times of our lives together, and have been grateful to have each other through some of the best. She is the most sensible and selfless individual you will ever meet. And I did look on Google a lot to figure out how to write one of these speeches, and it did recommend that I, um, end with a quote, may your love be modern enough to survive the times and be old fashioned enough to survive forever. Congratulations. Thank you for bringing silver linings out in every situation, having great values and serving God with me. I love you.
I promise today that I will choose you always for the rest of our lives, and today is the beginning of our forever, and I love you more than I could ever explain.